Hey guys, Lancer here. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining me to look into some more MTG magic to look at the heads I win, tails you lose commander deck. This is the last secret layer that I've ever bought and it took one and a bit years to arrive. So we're going to see what the quality is. We're going to see... Thank you for being part of Secret Layers. We're going to see what the build quality is. We're going to... Oh, oh, no, I bumped it. Yeah, we're going to just see if they've messed it up, if there's going to be a bunch of Pringled cards in here. I will admit, this box, this cardboard box, actually not that bad. This one, I'm not too sure. We're going to find out. Anyways, I think the video is actually upside down, so hopefully when I post this, it's not going to be upside down for you guys. But I will check before we get to that point. Also, hopefully the volume is okay. The lighting is okay. I haven't done this in a while. Um, the setup is all different to what I'm normally used to. So we'll see how it all goes. Anyway, so other than what's happening in this, there's been some crazy news, which I should probably cover in uh, another video about people trying to get views by destroying the Magic 30 products that they've received. Uh, this, on the other hand, looks pretty nice. Feels pretty not premium, but yeah, like it feels okay. Uh, like I said, the other cardboard box is better, but let's just find out what's in here. So you got your filler. Oh, no, not just the filler. You got the filler. Uh, you got a foil life counter. Pretty cool foiling. I like it. I do like the foil, foiling parts of it. You got a, I guess, how to play this game. Let's find out. Um, you got flip your destiny. You flip a coin in a very normal decision. You flip a coin, you flip the most heads of anyone in history. Okay, sure. So it teaches you how to play this deck I guess with a pretty cool artwork in the back nice I'll put that off to the side I'm running out of desk space um, sure anyways so were you guys or did anyone actually go out and buy this product um, I know that a lot of people would have tried to get their hands on this kind of stuff back in the day when secret layers were slightly overprinted but now they are massively overprinted so who knows uh, how does this feel? This is a plastic coin, uh, but it has got some weight to it. Uh, there is some weight behind this. Uh, it is shiny and, you know, it's fine. It looks good. I wouldn't want to lose it, that's for sure. It makes me feel like I do not want to lose that. Ooh, there's already a tear here. What's going on, wizards? Anyway, other than that, it looks fine. Um, any any Pringles? Not when it's sleeved like this, I guess. Be hard to tell. Uh, uh, maybe I'll just use this part. Got an emblem. Okay, so I've actually forgotten what's in this deck at this point because it's been such a long time since I've actually seen it. So let's just find out. Okay, so what is in the deck? And I'll sleeve it up as I go along. We've got a non-foil solid cardboard bo uh, cutout of the front-facing commanders. Uh, Zender split, Zinder split of the Eye of Wisdom. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Sure, I'll keep him off to the side over here. And then you got Akum, Eye of Chaos, solid card as well. So you got two solids that you know you can keep safe oh here comes the test is it pringly eh, i mean it doesn't feel like it is but it is slightly off right you can tell that it's slightly off but nothing too crazy so i'm just going to sleeve this guy straight away which side do i prefer so you got this version of him you got this version of him i think i like this version of him so let's keep that as the version the front facing so there you go got a front facing commander and which version of akun do i prefer i think i like 
this version of him. Nice large picture. And I think, if I remember correctly, someone mentioned that these two fit together. I mean, without the, four, without the sleeves, obviously. They fit together. So, pretty cool. The one's riding on the other one's shoulders. Cool. Now, let's go to the rest of what's in here. So, we've got a foily propaganda, which is a good card. Very powerful. Feels slightly pringled, but because it's double sleeved, maybe we have a hope here that it's not going to be too excessive. I prefer this version. So one of them is a bit reddish. The other one is a bit blue, but I think propaganda makes more sense in the blue cap than it does on the red side. So let's just sleeve that up. And you got a stitch in time, which oh, there's two of them there. Let go, cracking some. Yes, yeah, so you got a stitch in time. Now this one is red and a bluish version. I think the, this one makes sense for it to be red. So, oh no, so there you go, you can see it. So it is still slightly off skew. Wizards, God damn it! you pay this much money for a premium product, you'd expect it to be at least flat. Anyway, once it's in the sleeve, it feels fine. And we'll see how badly it goes. Maybe I'll give a post update in the future because if it gets any worse than this, we'll have to see. You got a Carrick's thumb, which is mostly blue and silver, and a red one. I think Carrick's thumb makes more sense for it to be red. Bit of blood in there. So let's just sleeve that one up as well. Okay, so the rest of it, pretty straightforward. You got a Blasphemous Act, foil. Um, now, I don't think these are randomly foiled. I think everyone gets the same foils. As far as I can tell, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. You got Dorothy's Scrap Savant, you got Goblin Kabunist, you got Croc, the Thumbsless, because we got his thumbs in a separate area. You got Niv Mizzet foil, pretty cool. Spark Double as a foil, cool. You got Temple of Epiphany as a foil, Wandering Pharmacol as a foil. Buried Ruin Foiled Fabricate, pretty cool card, foil, very powerful actually, it's instant. Fiery Gambit, oh, that art, and it's hard to tell on the foiling, but the foiling is really cool, it's just the rings are foiled, nothing else, and it's actually really cool, the rings really do stand out. Um, Frenet? Frenetic Sliver, okay, foiled Frenetic Sliver, pretty cool. Goblin Archaeologist, foiled. Great Furnace, foiled. Now, if I remember correctly, only 50% of this deck is foiled. Is it Boil Works, foiled. Is it Signet, foiled. Carplunus Minotaur, also foiled. Got a foil lightning greaves. Yes, that's a really good pickup. Those are not cheap. Mindstone foil. Myriad a landscape foiled. Don't know if that's anything special. Negate foiled. Yeah, sure. Path of ancestry foiled. Zal Zarek foiled. Actually, okay. So one of these things I've noticed with these foiled cards is these are actually very flat. These foiled cards, not the double-sided ones, they seem to be a bit skewed, but these foiled ones, very flat. Swiftfoot boots, also foiled. That's really good. I don't know if that's for everyone, but that's really good. Sword of Vengeance, foiled. Cool. Is that all of the foiled? No, we got another one. We got Tavern Scoundrel, foiled. Ooh, what's this? Is that a printing error? What's that? What's that? What's that pink mark on my thought vessel? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll talk to Wizards of Coast, but it seems like a waste. Um, sorry. Oh no, there's another one. Okay. Ah, right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, at least I captured this. So um, tribute mage foiled, whisper silk cloak, which I like, is also foiled, but it's got that mark. See, whatever this pink mark is, let me know if anyone else who's got this deck has noticed that mark as well, because that's very, very interesting. Got a island. 
that's foiled actually looks really cool and another island that's foiled wait is this normal why am i getting islands that are foiled another island that's foiled really out of the 50 cards like half of the lands are foiled is that a good thing i don't know if that's a good thing i got another island foil and another island foiled okay maybe a handful of these islands and mountains are foiled for everyone so that's not part of the 50 percent well that's pretty impressive we're quite a ways into this deck and i'm still hitting foils i know it's 50 percent but it does feel like a lot more when I'm going through the deck like this. So quite impressive. How to see how that goes. Um, should I talk to Wizards of the Coast for those two marks on my Thought Vessel and the other card? Uh, you guys can let me know. Is it actually worth it? Like, are they going to give me anything useful? Is it just going to be a massive pain in the butt? Um, don't forget, I normally, you know, anything that I get from them takes forever. All right, there you go. So now we're out of the foiling. So we got an Academy of Ruins non-foil, a Blood Sworn, Sworn Steward non-foil, a Boom Pile not foiled. Did I get good foils or bad foils? And also, does everyone get the same foils? Cascade Bluff, good land. Chandra's Ignition, pretty good. Chaos Warp, cool. Commander's Plate. Desolate Lighthouse. Oh, it would have been so good to get an Embercleave foil, but I don't know if that's how it works. I think everyone gets the same foils and everyone gets the same non-foils. Let me know if that is also true in the comments. And please like and subscribe if you like these kinds of random videos where I'm just talking and sleeving. There was a chance that I was going to talk about all my commander decks, but now they're half put together and half all over the place in the, in, in the dining table, on the dining table. Just a bit of a mess back there, but uh, we can at least go through here. Mirror's March. Cool card. Reshape. Okay. Seize the Day. Pretty cool card. Shadow Spear. Show. A Shivan Reef. Spine Rock Knoll. Sulphur Falls, the Locust God. Oh, that's nice. I like that card. Very powerful. On an empty board, especially. Tolaria West, Training Center. Really good card. Whirl of Whirl of in Invention. Yasari's Fortune Flame. Fortune's Flame. Arcane Signet. Chance Encounter. I actually have this card as well. So now I've got two of them. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to make two decks with them. So, oh well. Command Tower. Is that card actually worth anything? Chance Encounter? Is it worth it for me to sell the old one now? Uh, probably not because we just reprinted this. Counter Spell. Crooked Scales. Footfall Crater. Impulsive Maneuvers, Long-Term Plans, I am going to be flipping that coin a lot, Morg Assassin, pretty cool, Muddle the Mixture, that's a really good card actually, I think I've kept them all of mine from Ravnica separate, Planar Chaos, cool card, Ponder, Preordain, Uh, Reliquary Tower, cool, so I can keep my hand. Risky Move, six mana, damn. Sakashima the Imposter, really cool. Very powerful card. Serum Visions, plenty of card, card draw in this deck. Slip Through Space, pretty cool, can't be blocked, so you can go in with, I guess, Akum. Oh god, look at, look at this, look at this stack. Too much. Okay, soul ring. Yeah, of course. Always gotta have that soul ring. Squeeze revenge. Old school art. Talisman of creativity. Good. Temple of the false god. Not so good. That's probably one of my first lands to replace. 
Pima Battle Rage and Vandal Blast. Okay, cool. So what else do I get? I get a Island Shiny Special, I guess. I don't know. Mm, how to keep that to the side. Get a bunch of tokens, treasures, copy, copy, emblem, insects, and landmines. Okay, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see what I can do with this deck, maybe upgrade it with some of the cards I already have. I know that this is not the most powerful version of this deck because it was made by whatever his name was, uh, Mark. Anyway, um, one of the guys in Wizard the Coast uh, runs this deck, at least something similar to it, but he obviously had more powerful, more expensive cards in it. I probably have some of them, but I'm not 100% sure if I really want to go that far. Personally, I think this deck is looking pretty good by itself, but certainly for the land base, maybe I'll look into that. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.